You seriously never played this. You seriously never played this. With my grip. She's standing on my thumb right now. <laughs> she just has not a care. This guy's just walking around with Hey, I got a couple Curtis for you. <laughs> they just. They're just subcontractors it's a, delivering. It's on the work order. <laughs> Where do you need them? These uh, these big green guys will not stop hitting me. And uh, listen, listen, I get it, okay? I can't, not really in a position to be picky about the jobs, but these green I guys. I am, I am a giant rock man after all. <laughs> I appreciate you hiring me. I just would rather not get hit by this. Uh, broomstick. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> it is just a taped up broomstick. Uh, now, discussing pay. Uh, the bag of charcoal briquettes he gave me last time, I found rather offensive. I don't know what I expected to happen. I don't know either. I mean, I didn't expect fireworks to light by hitting it with uh, a also, I don't expect a nunchuck or people. nunchucks. I guess nunchuck is the singular. And Most of our conversations in the show are about the plural. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I feel it. I had a discussion at work the other day about um, what the plural of uterus was. Uteri. I hope it's uteri. But when I said it, the person I was talking to literally laughed so hard they spit in the sink. And I, I didn't. I was being serious. Oh! oh! Shell shot. Oh. Oh, whoa, no, we both got it. Woohoo! That was weird. I think uh -oh. we broke the game. Oh, man. Oh, this guy. Oh, goody, fresh turtles for lunch. Oh, don't hit me. I don't necessarily remember this character's voice in the show. Um, but I am imagine he sounds like a Louisiana Bayou. Man, this real Creole accent. <laughs> Creole, what a good word. Like, it's so descriptive, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Creole He's throwing crayfish. Yep. Sure is. Boiled to their redness. Why are cartoon uh, crustaceans the color they're supposed to be? Why are they always red? Because, I mean, typically that's all people know them as. I don't know if that's entirely true. I think a lot of people know that they don't turn red until you have to eat cooked Right? Well, I mean, I don't know. Lobsters are like orange. Not always. I mean, Ooh. he just fell to his death. Oh. He is, on a scale of one to dead, he is very so, he's mutilated. Yeah. I like these little these little. Scenes. Yeah. I'm trying to remember how many of these there are. I don't think there's that many. I mean, we're already in the 1800s. Are we might... in the future? Future. See, 2020. Neon Five Knight years Riders. From now. I mean, Cat, uh, Catboy Bebop. Cat Rocksteady and Bebop are dead, so. I think this, this looks is, like it's the, the guy who stole the Statue of Liberty. I think it's the same one. There's the giant. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. You ready for some F Zero? Yeah, I am. Huh? This doesn't make sense. No. It's very difficult to yeah. move forward and fight sideways. <laughs> it sure Aya! is. <laughs> Look at that landscape, or that cityscape. Oh, I like how we're not getting any clothes on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> that was the problem with Super Nintendo games, really. Like, why am I not getting close to the background? <laughs> oh, man. That wasn't the only problem. Also, for a while, I was like, oh, I have to jump these gaps. And then I figured out, yeah, I, I don't. You don't. I think initially they probably did. Um, can we talk about... Oh, See what I mean? They look like frogs. a frog. Can we talk about how nice it was to live in a time Ooh, this is, where I this, like that. this was the, a popular type of game and Call of Duty didn't exist? Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Also, do you like Call of Duty? Pizza time. Uh, I, I mean, I get it. Like, I get what's fun about it. I get what's fun about those helicopters. Yeah. I I have fun playing Call I don't like the Call of Duty, but like I played... Like, you wouldn't spend money on no, it. No, I played Black, o Black Ops 3 beta, but I'm not going to pay... Like, if I'm going to play a shooter... I'm gonna get one that's like, uh, like, I'm gonna play Rainbow Six Siege when it comes up, for example. Because that's got, like, a sense of 
Rainbow Six, if I remember correctly, like they they have a sense of regret when they kill people. Oh, oh, for sure. It's a the it's story a real... behind it is like it's a special operations team, and they don't like to kill people. Yeah, their own their own. Me. Yeah, it's like they glo they glorify like murder murder in those games. Hey, hey, Super Krang! <laughs> He's much smaller than he was last time. Yeah. Look at Krang's face when he hit him. Ah! <laughs> Krang was awesome. Um, but yeah, no, like the the new Rainbow Six game uh, is like a hyper realistic hostage negotiation game. See, that's awesome. I respect shooters. I just have trouble respecting a game that requires you to spend twenty dollars every month. And that's kind of frustrating to me. It's like, yeah, I could be a lot more of a dick about Call of Duty. Oh, and for I sure. I have been in the past, but I mean, so this is my. I'm thing trying to be like, somewhat respectful of the series. Call of Duty. I get Call of Duty because I'm someone who likes sports games. Right. Like I like a game. It is. You're right. It is kind of a sports game. Well, because like, <laughs> you're going to pay. Well, this is the thing, though, is, like, sometimes I like to play a game that I don't have to think to play. Like, I can just shut my brain off and yes, kind of play. Yes, me too. And sports games are that way for me, and I get how Call of Duty is that way for other people. Right. Destiny is another good example. Destiny is a great game that you can just, like, kind of passively play. Yeah. See, I I could get into Call of Duty before I could get back into Destiny. I... I... Starbase, where Ooh. Gold Turtle has gone before. Ooh. Before. Before. Um, I, I never quite got... Destiny. I, I bought mm. it. I was excited for it. To me, huge disappointment. Really? Yeah. I mean, it. it is like, I kind of, I like it. I think I need it. to commit to a character. I can't spend time with a character I don't care about. Yeah. And that's, that, I mean, I cared about I mean, Destiny as much as Peter Dinklage cared about his voice acting. <laughs> I mean, that's the one thing I, uh, like, that's the reason I don't like Skyrim and I don't like Elder Scrolls Online. Because I, I have no, like, investment in the characters. Well, I like Skyrim, and I hate Elder Scrolls Hotline. That um, was the biggest waste of money I've ever yep. spent in my life. Yep. I completely agree. I I had the game pre-ordered, like, a physical copy, and I was so excited for it yep. that I got rid of my physical copy and bought it online so that I could play it at midnight. Yeah. I haven't played it since. Yeah. I played it for like three hours a day. I got it, and two hours a day after, and I was like, "Well, I've had enough of this forever." Right. It, it's it's. Uh, it's just so that being said, I I I got Skyrim, but I also was like in college when that came out, and I was playing with people. Yeah. And talking about it every day, which was nice. Yeah. That's one thing I will say. The guys in the kitchen are DJs, like. They all like video games. Yeah. So, like, I have purchased more games since I've worked there because I, when people talk about something, I want to be a part of it. I want to yeah. go play it and I want to experience it. So, like, I've purchased games solely for the conversation in the past. Yeah. Which really I, is kind of part of it. See, I, I actually, I liked Destiny, but I traded it in originally just because I had no one to play with. And it was, like, we've talked about this before. It was the, uh... It was the Borderlands effect for me. It right. was a real fun game to play as long as you're playing with someone. And right. if you're playing by yourself, it kind of loses some of that charm. Well, it's just not being played the way it was intended. Yeah. I mean, um, it's playable. But... but Destiny... Destiny is honestly just a Halo for the PlayStation. Uh, yeah, I, I, mean, I guess. That's what I wanted. But to me, it wasn't, it wasn't that. Oh, really? Because that's exactly what it felt like for me. I mean, it felt like the same engine, but that doesn't necessarily mean... I don't know. How do we not get squished here? That's what I am. I'm gonna play as... Oh, I'm out of continues. Oh no, it's our last level. For sure. Ah! Hot foot. I wonder if there's a different number. Uh, um, Wow, how many weapons do they have? Yeah, right. I'm starting to think they are just t-shirt cannons, electric bazookas. I don't think they're just construction workers. <laughs> Unless that's for their like job site somehow. Yeah, maybe. Ah! <laughs> 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 I love
love when they get hit, the way their face looks. Oh man, uh, I was recently talking with Andrew, um, who I did the Delusional Runners podcast with, uh, about he, he was thinking about getting back into video games and getting a PS4 and stuff, uh, and we were talking about games to get in. Uh, it made me realize that I'm excited for way more games than I thought of. Yeah. Like, gotta, no, no Man's Sky is yeah, going to be cool, I think. Um, I think it, it's going to be cool, but it has, like, the... It has the possibility of being a huge disappointment. Oh, oh, absolutely. It's a high-risk game, but it looks amazing. Um, I just, I really, I genuinely hope it's great. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. But I've learned lately, and by lately I mean the last few years, that... Games can get released without being finished. Yep. And, I mean, that's a huge concern now. Um, also, uh, Horizon? That game looks Horizon, awesome. yes, yes. You shellheads are dead! <laughs> I love him. Dang He's such fun. a cool looking bird. I might draw him today. Yeah. Just, just... Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Okay, you're focusing. Um, hey, look, they're animating Shredder the same way I animate my lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sorry, that might not. That might, I doubt many people who are listening to this know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm sure plenty do. Oh, I'm sure I don't want to alienate any. Yeah, it's, it's early. Some people will record it a decent hour. Yeah. And some people will think this is a decent hour. And <laughs> because it is. Yeah. Really? It is. We've been at oh, 10 o'clock. Really but you've been at class since 8, right? Yeah. And, that, and I commute, so that means I have to get up at like 6.45. Oh. Sorry to make it real for you. No, it's okay. You, you don't work today. You, you do work today. I don't work today, but I drive to Philadelphia. Oh, that's right. As soon as we're Chris's done. Chris's lady morning. friend. Uh, Ooh, ah! There he is. Chris's lady friend lives in Philadelphia. I saw wow. she met that guy. David Tatera. Yeah. From So anyone who has a girlfriend knows what that is. <laughs> That's a huge assumption. That, That's not yeah. accurate. <laughs> that but show is entertaining is, though. I've seen I will say it. some of it. I will say it's not a I forget not, what the show is that he does though. It's uh My Fair Wedding. My Fair Wedding. Why don't you tell us the premise of My Fair Wedding? Oh, no! David Tatera gives ladies their dream weddings, but, like, also talks them down off of crazy shit. Oh, okay. Like, if a, if a person is like, I want there to be a hundred thousand white doves and thunder and lightning, it'll be like, he you know, just, that's not... It's like, that's not gonna happen. No. Here's some Here's birds. a projector screen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here's on. what you're actually gonna do, and Can we talk about like how we just wedding. almost beat the game and lost? Oh, was that the last level? I think it might have been the last level, but we're not gonna be able to... I don't think we can go back in. Oh, nope. no. <laughs> I used to love the color. It all everything. comes for a full circle. Bro, circle. If you watch this series and you you start right here, it'll be on a loop. <laughs> so this is Turtles in Time. Uh, Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Four. Thanks. Turtles in Time. <laughs> oh, don't play the title screen. Oh, spoiler! Ah!